You got it. Come on. Up. Pepper, come on. Up. Up. Good girl. Good girl. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Rhyme Time Crafts after Rhyme Time with Miss Nutra, and my name is Miss Cho, and today Miss Pepper is here to introduce the craft. Do you want to tell them what we're doing? We're going to be making a paw print or a hand print tree. We're going to trace our hands, and then we're going to use finger painting to put in all the beautiful leaves and flowers as it's turning into springtime. We'll be able to add cherry blossoms or whatever you want to your tree. So what we're going to need today is some paper, a pencil, and then if you have some watercolors you can use for finger paints, or you can even use markers and draw, put it on your fingers and then stamp it that way, or even ink pads. So go grab your supplies and let's get started. For our handprint tree, we want to go ahead and spread our fingers out and trace our hand. I'd recommend doing this in pencil. That way it, the hand isn't overbearing in your image. Take your time. You can always have a partner help you with this. You can do your hand and then, or your partner does your hand, you do their hand. And now we're gonna go ahead with our finger paints or markers on your fingers and we're gonna decorate our tree. So I have my paints here, I have my water dish, and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna gently get my finger a little bit wet, and I'm gonna start to fill in my trunk. And I love fingerprints for a tree trunk because of the texture our fingerprint has. I think it looks like bark. And I'm mixing up my colors on my page. I'm not just doing one shade of brown. If you have multiple shades, or if you have limited colors, go ahead and mix them up. See what, how can you get brown. If you added some blue and red and yellow, what color do you get? Try it out in the lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I mean. So I'm gonna put some red. I'm gonna put some blue. And then lastly, the last primary color, I'm gonna put some yellow and look at that I get this nice dark color to help in my tree trunk even if you don't have a lot of colors go ahead and mix and see what you get and have some fun with this tree don't just stick with one color of brown let yourself play and explore think of yourself like a scientist your color, you're studying colors, and you're using your finger as your tool for your research. And remember, I said don't do your outline too dark because you don't have to fill in the whole area. Go ahead and do whatever part of it you want. So I'm happy with my tree area. I'm going to move on to my beautiful leaves. And again, just like my tree trunk, I don't want to get stuck with just boring green. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start mixing some fun colors. I, want, I know I want to have flowers on this tree for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and start to put some red. Maybe, maybe this is going to be more like a bush. There could be other colors too. And don't forget you can always clean off your finger in between colors. So you can really start to play. Or you can use different fingers too. And you're going to fill it up as much as you want until you are happy with it. And don't forget you can put your green after your brown has dried, go ahead and layer your leaves on top. Because you would normally just see all the tree and the trunk. No, the leaves cover some of it. You can see the 
bark through some of the leaves, but we should have those leaves on top as well. But we always start with our base layers. Our base was our trunk and our tree branches. But once that dries, we can go on top with our colors and our leaves. Remember, you can also decorate everything else around it. Where is your tree? You could add your setting. And I think the last thing I'm gonna add a couple purple. Maybe there's a string of lights on your tree too. And there is our colorful fingerprint tree. So I hope you had fun making your handprint fingerprint tree. I think mine came out so beautiful, almost more like a beautiful bush. I could have maybe turned my page the other way, or maybe used an even bigger page and done lots of hands. That could have looked really cool too, or like a whole family of hands. So use your imagination, use your creativity when you're making yours. You're, it doesn't always have to turn out like mine. It's actually better if it doesn't turn out like mine. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you get notified every time the library posts a new video. And I look forward to seeing you next time for the letter. What letter is next? Tell me in the comments what letter is next. See you next time. Bye, friends.